How's it guys? Welcome to another episode of ASFN. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to our videos. We really do appreciate all the support that we're getting from you guys. Yeah, it is a lockdown period now, so we actually can't go anywhere. We can't go to the beach. So stay at home, be safe, and be safe for your family. Traveling unnecessarily is not going to benefit you or your family. So don't put anyone at risk. Don't stay at home, spend as much time as you can with the family, but that's most important right now. And secondly, you have enough time now now service your reels, learn bait demonstrations, tackle rigs, and yeah, clean up the tackle box. So let's get down to it. I'm going to show you today, today what I'm actually going to be uh, doing. It's a normal bait uh, demonstration on, on the Aki. Well, not actually normal. It's a modified octopus leg bait that I actually use. I'm floating this octopus uh, leg today. So I'm targeting species that's in mid water. Uh, not sitting at the bottom, so most of my edibles are not inside swimming through the water is going to eat this bait. It's, uh, I got a dingle dangle with Dacron, and what I actually did was uh, on the surf pot foam, foam that I'm using, I put two pigs in it. And I just turn them off, that's just to secure and hold the bait uh, in quite nicely. And uh, chocolate melon, a knife, and medium latex cotton. And the best part about being at home like this is you get to use your wife's chopping board as well as your wife's knives so i'm not missing any of my stuff so yeah that's it so let's see how we do this all right guys uh this is the hockey leg now first thing what i do is i measure up my leg all right so i take my dangle now remember where your split ring is or your solid ring is where it's going to clip to the sinker and the tail part is what's going to be towards your hook so i'm going to measure a piece that i want i don't want something too thick or too thin as well so I'm going to measure about there and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut the leg here just like this place this inside I'm going to be using that now I actually like to keep it natural as possible I don't take the skin out and the skin has also got a lot of flavor as well so I leave the skin on and I just basically turn him over Split him down the center. This is a very, very, very tough bait. So sometimes it can be quite difficult to handle, especially cutting as well. Right. Split it through that there. Yes, yeah, a little bit more. Okay. So very open like that. Take my chocolate mallet and I lightly tenderize it. Use both sides of the mallet. Then I take it, and what I do is I flap it over the bit. So you can see here, Take my thin cotton and I neatly wrap it up. The toothpick helps a lot in holding the bait. So you will see that as I'm working my way back, it's not actually pulling down on, on the bait. The bait is not slipping off, it's actually holding quite perfect. Right, leave this piece here sticking out, this is where my hook's gonna go. Couple more binds. Couple half inch. Put it through. Okay, so that's now my base. What I would then do is take the meaty part of the octopus which is the front section and I cut it in half again best way when cutting an octopus is to take your fingers like this and actually dig in trim when you're cutting so you can get him proper so take this piece with the suckers keep it one side take this piece here cut this piece in half as well Like 
Okay, I get group name. Splitting open. Like that. Now I'm going to beat it again. See the section that I need and trim the rest off. So I'm going to trim this off. And this I'll use later as a, as a blob onto another bed. Gently place that on top. Take a cotton. Start binding. See how nice and white that is. Keep binding it. So it comes down. Now this is gonna have a lot of flavor in the water because we turn it inside out as well and beat it nicely. Now remember I said I'm gonna keep it nice and natural. This is where this plays a big factor. Again, I measure how much I need. Thank you so much. Cut that off. And then take this on the back. You can line with the other suckers and neatly tie these suckers on. Doing a crisscross pattern to keep it looking natural. It's like this, you don't have to rush. Take your time, make sure it's perfect, and the result will always be great. Stand up a bit. Again, a couple half inches. And that's your modified octopus bait. I'm just going to keep this aside quickly to show you guys. You've got the nice white fleshy part showing there. And then your suckers on the side that keeps it looking natural as possible. Very nice and aerodynamic. You can throw this a mile as well. If you take your trace, and you clip it. Get this in quickly. And still slippery from the octopus. So it will come through now. Definitely come through. Perfect. Nice. There's your Octopus bait, take the circle, that's gonna be sitting like that. Whatever comes past and grabs this chunk, it's definitely gonna get hooked. You take your trace, you're gonna be hooking him right there, and you can throw this somewhere. I'm gonna re hook him again nicely for you guys. <laughs> 